And reason number four, I think is the most important one. It's so, so damn important. It's just, that's it. The holy grail. Reason number four is, one of the biggest goals in billiards is to stop missing balls, right? We all want that because it doesn't matter how great the position is that you play, when you miss the ball, you're off the table. But I think we need to answer one question first. Why do you miss? I believe there are more answers to this question. And how can you fix something when you don't know what the problem is? So let's find out. In this video, we're talking about four reasons why you might miss a shot. And I know there are many more reasons out there why you could actually miss a shot. So of course the topic is bigger <laughs> than this video. But here in this video, I want to talk to especially beginners and amateurs, players who are not that good yet, who miss shots and have no clue why. So I think these four reasons happen very often and this video might help you to analyze some of your misses, some of your shots. So reason number... So the first reason is of course, very surprisingly, aiming. It all starts there, right? And I, I will record a video about aiming, hopefully within the next few weeks when I find a time, but it all starts with aiming. When you look at little kids and they, when they go to the pool table, they play a shot, they look at the result and then they adapt accordingly. It's the best way to learn because <laughs> it's natural and they're not overthinking it. They're actually just going by the result and then they adjust. Look at the results, learn from it, adapt accordingly to thick, to thin, look at the line again, visualize the line to the pocket, make sure your body is in line with the shot, your pre-shot routine is good. Aiming is something that just needs practice, practice and practice. This could be one reason why you miss a shot. Reason number... The type of shot. As you already know, when you watched my video about spin, that the type of shot that you choose has an effect on the cue ball and the object ball. So when you, for example, play a ball with side spin, you have to think about the deflection, the swerve and the speed um, in order to play it right. So that also means that you have to change your aiming a little bit. Um, so it could be that, for example, your aiming was right, it was correct, but because of the type of shot you chose, Therefore, you missed the shot. And there's a very common um, example where this likes to happen very often. And that's this shot. This is a typical nine ball situation. You would have to pot the eight ball into the corner pocket and play position over three rails to get up to the nine ball. The most common way to play this shot is with a follow shot and also with some side spin. In this case, it would be left spin. Left spin in this case is the natural spin, which means it will automatically increase the speed of the cue ball. And this is something that you want because that means you don't have to force the cue ball as much because the spin will add some speed. Because of the spin and the speed that you play with this shot, you have to adjust your aiming a little bit. In this case, as you can see, I played it well, I hit it well, and I chose the right amount of speed to get up to the nine ball. As you know from my spin video, when you apply side spin, you have to think of the swerve and the deflection. In this case, I chose the wrong amount of speed and you can see I hit the rail first and therefore the cue ball went the wrong way. Here's another example what happens when the timing is wrong. So you see, just because of that type of shot, you managed to miss the ball. So in this case it was not so much the aiming i mean yeah you have to adjust the aiming but for example if you adjust the aiming because you know about this issue but then you're choosing the right uh the wrong sorry the wrong uh speed then all of a sudden you miss the ball it gets messed up again so i think with this example you see that it's not only just the aiming uh, it can also be the type of shot and what it does to the cue ball and the object ball reason number I can divide that in two boxes. 
The first box is, you have to ask yourself, is it a technical issue or is it a mental issue? So you can miss a shot because you were just not mentally prepared because you were, you had negative thoughts in your head and you were worrying about the next shot already or still pissed off because you played the wrong position before you were not dedicated to the shot. So, and because of that, all of this energy that you're missing when it comes to really finding the right aiming spot and that can of course influence um, the shot. So is it a mental issue? All right, then you have to fix the mental issue. But if it's a technical issue, for example, you go down, you have the spot on the object ball, you know what type of shot you're going to play, you know what spin, speed, draw shot, follow shot or whatever you want to play but your cue action was not 100% accurate. Uh, your, the delivery of the shot was not was it, what it was supposed to be. And because of that, you missed the shot. You see how difficult it gets, but it's like really important to understand these differences. Um, and of course, sometimes it could be a mixture of everything altogether. But uh, I, think, I, I think you get my point, really try to, figure out to get a feel for your body, for your mental side, to understand what was the problem in this situation. And last but not least, reason number... Reason number four is we're human. Sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we miss shots. You can do everything right. You can, you know, everything about all these reasons that I just told you and you just miss them because it's not your day. <laughs> You're not feeling it that day, no matter what you do. Don't overthink everything and every single shot and every ball you miss. You have to criticize yourself sometimes. You have to, you have to um, look at it, learn from it and, and work on it, get better. Totally agree. But sometimes just let it go. Please understand that when you start doing that, when you're trying to find out what the problem was, it's probably a bit overwhelming in the beginning because uh, you need to get a feel for yourself, for your body, for your stroke, for the game. Not everybody has a coach, trainer, or somebody from the outside that can help with that. So give it time. Okay, that's it people, it's a wrap. Um, so remember four reasons look at the result and then learn from it and sometimes just let it go we're all humans i keep practicing and i talk to you soon